Hey there, today I just wanted to make a video about making a landing page from scratch. We're going to make it on my new demo domain.dev. So let's get started. I'm going to be using VS Code, which you'll see here on the left. First of all, we're going to create a new folder on the desktop. We'll just call it demo domain.dev. And then go to file in VS code, go to file, open folder. And we're going to open that. And so first of all, we can create an index. This will be the file that shows up on the root domain. We can get a basic template going here and we'll just put a simple headline. And then we have a live server plugin here in VS Code so we can open it straight from VS Code and see what's on the domain. As you can see, this is the index file on the root domain. So we have that. And then let's make a landing page. We'll make a simple iPhone landing page, basically a click through landing page. So we'll put it in the iPhone folder. And then in here, we'll have an index. We also need a style file. And we have an image here on the desktop for iPhone 13 and we'll be using that. So let's split this to the right. And then let's get started coding this page. HTML5. title and then we want to add our style sheet which you can see here is style.css and so we got that then let's start making a few divs. A container. And a box. And then we can put our content here of the page. let's actually view this the live server as you can see the page is empty right now there's just a couple empty divs here so let's make a headline today only get an iPhone 13 you save that you can see what's on the page but we want the get an iPhone 13 to be on a different line so we'll put it inside of a span And then we need a little bit of CSS, so let's start with the body. Background color. Let's go with 555. Five. It's a gray color. And the font family, so that this will apply to every uh, div on this page. You can see there the 
backgrounds changing as I save the files on this left side. Then let's make the container. We're going to make this uh, centered completely vertically and horizontally centered. So we just need to apply a little bit of CSS here. And as you can see, VS Code's basically coding this for me. If I know the, the CSS rule to apply, then it'll suggest things for me, which makes coding super easy. Then we're going to make the max width. This page is going to be designed for mobile. So we're going to make the max width of just 300 pixels. Let's see, then you can see it's vertically and horizontally centered, but uh, we need this box. We want the box to kind of pop out with a different colored background. So let's write that CSS as well. We'll add a border on the box. It'll be solid, three pixels, and let's just make it black. Make the corners curved, border radius, 20 pixels, padding, do 16 pixels and the background color light gray. So there you go, we got that. Then we need some different CSS for the H1 tag. I think this is where the today only get an iPhone 13 is. So let's apply that and let's uh, make sure it's all uppercase. Text transform, uppercase. Let's make the font size 26 pixels. And We'll remove the margin so that this uh, space here isn't so big. Margin top zero. So we got that. And then let's uh, fix the span so that this displays in a different color. I think that'll look good. And to make sure that it stays all on a, on a second line, we'll make it display block. Color, let's do blue, violet. Margin auto so that it centers. And let's do padding five pixels. So we got that. And then let's add an image for the iPhone. So we'll add an image tag, source equals, and since the file's already here, it's suggesting an image file that we could use, or we could link this other these other files as sources. But for this, we want an image because this is an image tag. We can save that. The image is way too big, so let's apply some basic styling to that. Let's add a max width of 200 pixels. Let's 
that looks better and then we'll add some text here below the image let's make a h2 tag congratulations user then we could apply some styling to that h2 let's do font size 22 pixels and we'll remove the margin on the bottom so now we probably want a paragraph under this text Let's add a paragraph. And let's just write a quick little description. You've been selected for a chance to win the new iPhone 13. Okay, that looks good. Let's do a little bit of styling on this as well. Let's do padding 15 pixels and 10 pixels. Margin, remove that. Let's make the line height a little different and the font size 18 pixels that looks pretty good let's change the font size to maybe 16 now yeah, 18 and then below this Text, we'll probably want to do a button, so let's do that. Div, give it a class, call it button, and let's just say continue since this is a basic click through landing page. And we have no styling on that, so let's add some styling to the class. For the class, we just do dot um, button. And then we'll do background color. Let's do the same as the purple text above, blue violet. Then let's change the, that looks pretty bad. So we need other styling as well. So let's change the font size, the color, the weight, add some padding around it so that it looks more like an actual button. color white to padding 18 pixels let's make a border solid two pixels mm. it's gray color border radius so that the the corners of the button are curved. We'll do, let's do 10 pixels to start. Let's see what that looks like. Font size, 22 pixels and the font weight. That looks pretty good I'd say. And so then, if you want to add some scripts to your page, let's say some JavaScript, we can add a new file inside the iPhone folder. Let's just call it script.js. And we'll have this file here. Um, so then we need to add the script to the page. So let's do script, source, 
And as you can see, again, it's suggesting the files to use. And then we'll close this tag. And then, so if you want to inspect the code and, and see what's happening in your, in your JavaScript, for example, you can open the developer tools by right clicking and then go to inspect. And it'll pull up the developer tools. And the console is where all the JavaScript happens. Um, so if we were to write console log hello from script JS, you can see it our script's working, so it's correctly installed, so we can write some other scripts here. Um, let's write a function for go. This will work on the call to act action button. When somebody clicks on continue, then they can be redirected somewhere else. Google.com. Then we'll add, we'll make sure this works on the button. So we can just, we can either do uh, on click here. Go like this. And then when somebody clicks this button, it would redirect to Google. But we are gonna do it a little bit different to keep our HTML code clean. So we're going to remove this. Let's call the give this an ID of call to action button CTA. So then we can do document query selector with JavaScript to select an ID. You use a hashtag, so CTA. Let's add an event listener. The click, somebody clicks on that, then this function will go, will be triggered. And then let's just put go. The go function that we wrote above here will be executed if somebody clicks on the call to action ID, which is our button. So let's test, works, it goes to google.com. As you can see, the script uh, console log is still there, so we can remove that. And that's it. That's how you code a basic landing page. And you see that it's in the iPhone folder here. And that's how we're accessing the page on our domain. If you want to add other scripts, you would just add them into the scripts.js and they would all be executed after the HTML loads this. The script will be loaded and everything in here will be executed. Um, in the next video, we'll be putting this up on some easy to use hosting as well as uh, adding the Cloudflare CDN. Um, the hosting and the CDN is free, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, and well, if you're here, how about we like this video, comment, and subscribe? I would appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.